The next step is to install control plane components. We will again execute these tasks on both the master nodes. We start by creating a directory for Kubernetes configuration. Then download the Kubernetes binaries. This includes the Kube API server binary, the Kube controller manager binary, the Kube scheduler binary, and the Kube control binary. Once downloaded, make them executable and move them to the bin directory. Move the certificates and encryption key config file to the var lib Kubernetes location. Again, get the internal IP of the system or set it manually. And finally, create the Kube API server configuration file. Most of the options provided in these we have seen already throughout this course, such as the various certificates and other options. We will now move on to the Kube Controller Manager configuration. Move the Kube Controller Manager config to the right location, then create the Kube Controller Manager service file. Repeat the same for the Kube Scheduler. Finally, reload service daemon and enable services to start automatically during system startup and start the services. Verify the status of each service and ensure it is active. To perform a quick check to see if they are discovered by the API server, run the kube control get component statuses command using the admin kubeconfig file. Well, that's it for this demo. In the next demo, we look at configuring load balancer.